Hey babes, welcome back to my channel, Happiness Heals. Today, I'm super excited to feature my very first MILF Mama Monday. And as I mentioned in my intro video, MILF Mamas are not the sexual connotation on this channel. They are moms I love to follow. Yes, we are definitely going to get to meet some very influential and powerful women that can help you with improving lots of great things in your life and i'm super excited to share how i'm implementing what i've learned from them in mine so the very first milf mama featured on the happiness heals channel is kamiko love also known as the budget mom if you're not familiar with her and her YouTube pages, her Facebook pages, as well as her Instagram posts, I definitely say take a moment to go and look up at The Budget Mom, featured below, and make sure you subscribe to everything she has to offer. I'm going to go through some of the things that I've learned from her um, and why I think she's definitely appropriate during this special time that we're all experiencing right now to be someone that you want to follow. She has taught me so much about personal finance, budgeting, allocating money for your savings, as well as paying off your debts. And very recently, she bought her very first home in cash. No financing. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So, the very first thing I wanted to share about Kamiko, and I honestly am not here to endorse her. This is not sponsored. It's not a collaboration. It's simply just my reflections on what I've learned from following her on her various social media platforms and why I think she would be a great influence for you as well. So back in September of 2019, I was in a place where my finances were really in a rut. I was trying to figure out how to get myself out of debt, how to stop living paycheck to paycheck, stop overdrafting my account. I mean, I make decent money from my day-to-day -day job. I can't really complain about that, but my ability to manage that money and make wise decisions as a mom was just not where I wanted it to be. And I was really in a place where I had been budgeting using my own methods for quite a while. And I had a pretty good understanding of where my money was going, but it was the unexpected things. And it was the things that I didn't have a long-term plan for. And it was the, you know, impulsive shopping. It was so many things influencing me that I just couldn't see any progress. And so at that time, I started really getting more involved in watching YouTube videos and looking at Instagram and Pinterest and just trying to figure out like how to put all the dots together and make it work. And that's when I came across The Budget Mom. I started watching some of her videos on YouTube and I could really relate to her story and her situation. She's a single mom of a young son and she talked about how she had recently come out of a divorce and just so many things had happened in her life that I could relate to. I was like, hey, maybe I should give her a little bit more attention. And then she also talked about being an impulsive shopper and not really knowing how to balance her budget and build savings and do all these things. And over time, she had really evolved a system that worked for her and surprisingly began to work for other people as well. And so she was about to launch a workbook. How do you know this is going to work? You know, so many excuses and reasons why I wouldn't buy it. And then I did. <laughs> I did. I was like, why not give something to a shot? Like, what harm could it do? I did have one goal before purchasing the workbook that I knew I was planning to implement. And that was at the end of October. I absolutely stopped all overdrafts from my account. I was like, I am tired of seeing my bank account in the red. I just have too much money coming in for it to constantly be going out at this rate. Like, I got to change that habit. And so... October 31st was my goal and that was my very first goal that I wrote down in my workbook once I purchased it and I was able to make that happen and thankfully we are here in April of 2020 and I have not overdrafted one time in my bank accounts. I have not even had a instance where you know I had a rejected payment or anything. It's just like this system has worked so well for me that 
it totally changed the game. And that's why I feel like it's the very first thing I want to feature on my site. And the very first reason why I say, pause what I'm saying. Make sure you go subscribe to The Budget Mom, but then come back because we have a whole lot more to talk about. And I promise you, I promise you, given 30 days, you will see major changes in the way that you think about your money, the way that you manage things. So getting back to my story, back in October, I decided to purchase the workbook. The workbook looks like this. It actually, well, sort of. <laughs> I actually, it comes in a spiral bound. This is the cover. It's the yellow cover here. There's also a purple one that was featured last year. I think she redesigns it every year. So the ones for 2020 will probably look a little bit different. But um, this came in a spiral bound kind of notebook where all the pages were attached. And as a former happy planner, if you're a planner babe, you know where I'm coming from. Um, and someone who just likes to be able to kind of add my own touch to things. I knew the spiral bound wasn't working for me. And I actually honestly did not realize that until January when I really started working in it. So when I purchased it in October, I fought with the idea, and you will probably too if you end up purchasing one of her workbooks, whether to just get started then and start working through it or to wait until January when it's supposed to cover the whole year and start then. And so I really wanted to use the binder in January, but oh, I was so anxious because I was just in need of doing some major things um to improve my life that i said you know what i'm going to xerox my pages for the month so i xeroxed october november december and i used those months to really start practicing one of the other things that when you purchase the workbook you get access to one of kamiko's facebook groups and i'll call her the budget mom um just so you can keep remembering the name and hopefully go and look her up when this video is over but um I joined the Facebook group that you get access to when you purchase the workbook. And right away, I saw people giving these incredible testimonies about how they went from paycheck to paycheck or being severely in debt or going through divorces or bankruptcy, all these things and paying off their car loans, doing all these different amazing things. And I was like, wow, I can do that. I can do that. You can do that. So um, one of the things that were featured around that time because it was the holidays was being able to pay for Christmas in cash. How many of us can say that we've gone out of our way to spend so much for our kids and our loved ones that by January, February, we are bogged down in debt or we've overspent so much we are like trying to figure out how we're even going to pay the bills. I've been there too many times. And so to hear people talking about going into Christmas and already having all the money they needed set aside, not just for gifts for their children, but for everyone, for your decoration, for your meal, like your entire Christmas budget already set aside in cash and you could spend it however you chose. Like, that was a mind blower for me. I'm like, I want to do that. <laughs> So that was my second goal that I set. I was like, by Christmas, even though I only had a month and a half, I was like, I'm going to figure out how I can start saving cash and get ready to have an all cash Christmas. And guess what? I was able to do that. Each payday up until Christmas, I literally set aside a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. And each of those portions I bought gifts from gifts from gifts from so by the time Christmas came around the only person I really still needed to shop for was my daughter and the amount of money that I needed to buy gifts for her I was able to actually pull from my regular paycheck and not overspend um and I had never been able to do that before I was one of those people I don't even know if you know of the companies but like purchasing power per pay these companies where you can purchase things and then pay it back kind of paycheck but the paycheck but you really spend it a lot more than what the product's worth just to get that extra time i've done all that the payday loans i've done all that like all those things that you do in order to provide everyone with that one thing on their gift list that they really really wanted i've done that i'm sure you've done that and if you haven't done that i pray that you never have to do that because once you find the budget man, budget mom system, you can start planning and budgeting for those things early on so that when they go on sale for Black Friday or throughout the year, 
You could purchase them in advance, stash them away, and boom, you don't have to go into debt over things. So um, just coming into that community and seeing everyday people who had struggles like I did come out of that, even in purchasing a car. Like around that time, I had a vehicle that was, I'll just say it. it was a BMW it was a decent car but it had a lot of issues like it was seven years old maybe yeah it was about seven years old at the time I had put a lot of miles on it using it as an everyday back and forth car and it really didn't have a lot of value I was just pouring money into repairs pouring money into electrical stuff like it just was not the best investment for me but I was thinking around that time I'm about to buy a brand new car like do I really want to do that and Christmas is coming the new year is coming like it was just a lot a big decision but coming into the budget moms group and finding out that people actually were able to purchase cars and pay them off in like two years three years all of that I was like wow well if this system is working this well for me for Christmas then hopefully I can find a way to help it work for me so that I don't have to spend four, five, six years paying off this car. I can hopefully pay it off over the next couple of years. So here I am with yet another goal. I haven't achieved that one yet, but I'm working on it. All that to say, I have learned a whole lot from joining Kamiko's community. And she just has the most humble genuine sweet spirit she's always sharing her real numbers like she's not shy about things and that's something even for me i've had to grow into um i see people post their budget trackers and their budgets every month and things like that and in the beginning i was hesitant because i'm like will people judge me for how much i pay for my car note or you know credit cards or what i pay for rent or any of these things will they judge me for that or, well, you know, I just learned. And so at the beginning, I started off just sharing what I was comfortable with. And now I feel like I just want to share everything, which is part of why I started this channel. I wanted to be able to really connect, relate to, and inspire, hopefully, some other people who are struggling with figuring out the things that they want to do. And I can say I've struggled with my budget probably my entire adult life. I grew up in a household where my parents really didn't talk to us a lot about money. So I didn't really know a lot of life skills when I started to have to be responsible and then having a child <laughs> at the same time. I have really had to learn as I go. Um, and I'm really grateful, as I said, for coming across the Budget Moms uh, philosophy and really seeing how it has worked for me and I think that it's definitely something that can help a lot of us especially as we're dealing with layoffs right now and people having to adjust to you know reduce paychecks or just different lifestyle adjustments because of the situation that we're in right now and this is why after a lot of thought I knew this would be the perfect MILF mama feature for the moment <laughs> because um, I just think that you could get a lot from learning from the budget mom and as I mentioned I was going to share just a little bit about my workbook um, I'll probably feature some tutorials this week in terms of like how I'm actually using it on Wednesday work at Wednesday we'll be putting together my budget for April this is the one that I put together for January if you're a planner babe, like I am, um, then you'll see that I love stickers, I love color, I love things like that. So really being able to kind of personalize this also make it made it very approachable and easy and fun. And um, another feature about the Budget Moms process and philosophy is that she uses a cash-based system. So I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with or at least have heard of the cash envelope system. The budget mom system is very heavily reliant on that. However, I can say it's adaptable and adjustable for those of us who aren't as comfortable with that. I actually jumped in at the beginning loving the cash envelope system. You could pick out these pretty envelopes either from her website or create your own. Um, you have a lot of fun getting the denominations from the bank and stuffing your envelopes every week and being able to track your expenses. It's a really cool experience. But recently, I will be honest with you, I lost my wallet twice. Um, the first time I was at Walmart with my daughter and literally I just went in 
didn't really have a plan to buy something, put it in the top of my cart and came home. <laughs> and I didn't even realize it was missing but besides a lady actually trying to reach me on Facebook. She didn't, she wasn't able to reach me because I, I, if I don't know you, I, I'm not, you know, not easily going to respond. Um, so she came all the way to my house and you're talking about an angel. That was an angel. <laughs> um, she came all the way to my house and returned my wallet to me. And it was just, very moving to see that there are still really good people in the world. I still thank her to this day because I know a lot of people would not have done that. Especially maybe turn it in at the store and hope that the manager or someone will reach out to the person. But to actually make sure that it was returned directly to me. That was an act of God. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, and then a week later, I turned around and lost it again. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to say that. I don't even know where I lost it between my car, literally in the parking lot of my house and my home, I lost my wallet. And I had just stuffed my envelopes probably a couple days later. So I lost like over $400, $400, which was a really big learning lesson for me because it made me truly reevaluate whether that was really the best system for me so I've adapted it to have more of what I call a minimal big cash system which in some people will also call a cashless system um, either way for me I think it works I still get the thrill of filling my cash envelopes just more for my sinking funds each month and I do mostly all of my transactions electronically with my car and that actually has worked as we've come into this unique situation that we're experiencing right now because um, it just helps with having to interact with people less and having to deal with money, which goes through a lot of hands a lot less. So um, all things work for good. <laughs> I believe in happiness and always finding the good in all things. And so, um, as I mentioned, I just think this process has been amazing. I definitely recommend it. I look forward to sharing with you my April budget. And I may even add on another video this coming Friday for Freestyle Friday and showing you how I actually put together my paycheck bill tracker, which is how you break out your bills, your sinking funds, your savings, your debt, all of that. And if you guys like it, then I'll plan to continue doing that on a periodic or regular basis, depending on the response that I get. But as I mentioned before, there's not enough that I can say about the Budget Moms philosophy. I've tried Dave Ramsey. I've tried so many other different systems. And this is the only one that I can truly say has worked for me and I think will be very adaptable for almost anyone's budget. Um, Kamiko has even started recently showing features on her Instagram Live where she takes real people's budgets. People who send her their information, their salaries, their background um, documents, and she helps them develop a budget. And then she explains it to everyone else so that you can see multiple ways. If you get, I get paid bi-weekly. Some other people get paid once a month. Other people get paid four, five, six paychecks a month. To try to figure out how to manage and balance and budget all of that and cover all of your expenses can be complicated. And I'm not going to lie, this process can seem overwhelming in the beginning, which is why I want to show you a tutorial and see if you're interested in me providing additional ones going forward. Um, but I think once you get the hang of it, you will love it. And you, the best part about it is it's so customizable. You can make it adaptable to anything you do. There are, uh, There's a growing community of people who are offering videos on how to implement the TBM workbook, but the one thing I will say, if they don't zero their paychecks down to zero it out um, on their bill tracker every month, they're probably not the best person to follow. And that's no judgment. If you're one of the people who offer the tutorials, it's no shade. It's just, if you look at the way that Kamiko implements her budget and show demonstrates it, if you look at her assistant, Ryan, and how they she implements it with her biweekly pay, you will see their budgets always zero out. And anything that's rollover would just be money that for whatever reasons during that pay period did not get to be used for its allocated purposes, which is normally your variable expenses, groceries, eating out, 
um, pet expenses, things like that. But in terms of like, if you even break down your utilities or, you know, a payment for your mortgage or your car and things like that, those things should have a very specified pur purpose on your bill tracker. And it's hard to kind of explain all that without looking at it. So hopefully we can have a more a deeper conversation about that um, on Friday. One of the other great things that I love about Kamiko, uh, especially on her Instagram story, she features a lot of um, cooking tutorials. She has a lot of lifestyle tutorials where she shows how she does her nails or makeup, skincare, all these things on a budget. So if you're a person who's very um, cost conscious or you're a person that's very free spend, free hearted with your money like I am and you're trying to figure out like how to adapt and adjust things. Um, she's also a great resource for that. I learned how to do dip nails, which I absolutely love. I don't want to show you my quarantine nails. They are horrible. <laughs> you might see them on my video on Wednesday and I apologize in advance for that. But um, she shows you how to do a lot of things at home and I'm actually planning to go and check out her video right after I tuned out of today to try to figure out how to apply my nails on my own for the first time without my nail tech. But um, like I said, she has a lot of great tutorials, a lot of great tips. And once you actually get access to her website and to her Instagram and Facebook and all the different platforms that she has, um, available, you will find lots of great things to, to help you with your savings, help you with your spending, help you with your budget, and just help you find financial happiness. I, if there's not one thing that you take away from today's video, please know that the MILF mama that you would definitely benefit from following is Kamiko Love, who's also known as the budget mom. So I'm going to include all of her contact information below. Come back on Wednesday so we can see how she's being used in my life and talk about the things that you come across as you're doing your research. I look forward to talking to you soon and I wish you all the best. Please be safe. Make sure you hit that subscription button and notification bell so you're always in tune with what we have going on on the Happiness Heals channel.